Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the 1985 Series 2 Autobot Smokescreen. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at the accessories that come with him, that way you'll know if yours is complete or not. I'll also point out things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase him one for yourself. And as I'm lucky enough to still have an original box, we can have a look at the artwork and the fantastic battle scene on the back of that. Before we get started, I want to dedicate this video to Andrew Chase, as I know he loves smokescreen, so I hope he likes this video very much. Okay then, let's start off with the simply stunning, so I totally agree with you Andrew, robot mode. And again, look at it. Colour scheme just works, the stickers just work, I think everything about this figure just looks really, really good. So if we want to look at articulation, with it being a Generation 1 figure, there isn't much, let's be honest. So we've got a bit of shoulder movement there, but that's mainly for transformation purposes. You do have some movement in the bicep there, and you can turn the hands around as well. I'm not going to though. Now the waist does spin, but again, that's for transformation purposes, not when he's fixed in robot mode. And unfortunately, as you can see, the legs and feet are held together by a metal bar. So articulation wise, there isn't much at all. But for display, he, he just looks, again, he looks brilliant. Things you need to be aware of for display. Stickers, if they're damaged and perished, that can obviously affect the appearance. This is die cast metal. So paint chippings, unfortunately, are quite common with these. Uh, that's something to be aware of. The chrome in the accessories, which I'll show you in more detail in a second, can fade. The chrome is also on the wheels as well. And the tyres are actually made out of rubber. So just be careful with them because they can obviously perish. Uh, but as I say, the most important things to be aware of with this particular figure are these windows here. The doors and you can get away with it if it's in robot mode, let's be honest, is if it's missing the roof and the front window. Again, if that was missing, you wouldn't really know there. I suppose you could just about make A's, but you could get away with displaying him still like that. And again, he does. He just displays fantastically. Let's have a look at the alternate mode then. And the alternate mode is, again, it's like a custom Datsun 280ZX GTU. And it's again, it's it's beautiful. It's lovely. So it's 1985. So you've got the rub sign on it. Um, again, see, it's it's a weighty figure. It's it's nice to pick up a G1 figure after holding some of the new ones, just to feel the weight in it. To know, you know, these are die cast figures. Uh, again, I've mentioned the fact that you need to be aware of the doors, and and the windows, and just keep these in. You know, really look after them. Don't transform them unless you really, really have to. Um, you can see all underneath. But that's where the arms go again tires wheels it it's just a great figure it's just a really really good toy and it you know it was then and it definitely definitely is now you know 35 36 longer years years ago let's have a look at some of the accessories that come with it then so the gun is this particular one there you go the most important part is having that part there obviously so that'll fit in his hand Sometimes these get snapped off and sometimes either one of them do as well. The missiles are standard missiles between the three of the Datsuns. So you can pretty much pick up anything, any of them rather. So what I referred to then with the three of the Datsuns for people who don't know. Um, I've done a video on them funnily enough, but again, you can see that they all share a very, very similar mould. There is, of course, Blue Streak. Let's move these over. And here is Prowl. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is, again, for a difference if you're collecting accessories. So the shoulder-mounted cannons, as you can see, his are white. Prowls are silver and blue streaks are red. So, again, you don't really want to get them mixed up. Some people do um, because they just they do all fit. They are, you know, they do fit on each other's particular figure. It's just the colours that you need to match up. Again, with it being 1985, the instructions aren't full colour. So you've got black and white and then the red because it's Autobots. And then you've got, again, very simple instructions. And again, it's reminding you about the rub sign and your robot points. Let's have a quick look at the box then very quickly. And there is the artwork that we're on about. Really, really good. 
there's the transformation process on the top and then the battle scene on the back we've got the dinobots jetfire the illustri well the infamous red tracks shockwave he's up there as well and yeah as i say he is a popular figure he is a popular character he's been re-released a few times one of the ones i've just got quickly to show you which to be fair this is not his best version at all is the combiner wars version um i actually prefer the g1 to this but the new sort of the you know the generation selects and the war of cybertron ones they are much better representations of this figure but again my opinion probably the same as andrews is that this guy this particular version is still the best so let's wrap this up I hope you enjoyed looking at him. I hope it brought back some nice memories for you if you had one when you were a child or if again if you're looking to complete your G1 set and you're after one hopefully this video helped you with things that you need to be aware of. But there you go guys keep your ideas suggestions coming in. Again I can showcase or give any shout outs for any viewers or subscribers anybody who wants anything just give me a shout and take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment and don't forget to subscribe.